Hi everyone, welcome to my video today. My name is Anita McQuana from Discover Dance UK. So today we're going to talk about energy that is held within our bodies. There is a notion that all energy and emotions are stored within the human body and if these are trapped or limited or blocked that they cause disease. There is a strong notion that we need to release these energies in order to process and release the blockages so that we're not repressing any emotion and so that it is getting out there and no longer held within our body. There's a lot of science and data by psychologists and psychoanalysts and medical research that shows that trauma and emotions are stored within the body and they manifest into disease and all sorts of ailments. So today we're going to focus on releasing this energy. Whether you're male or female, a lot of this energy is generally stored in the hips area, so the pelvic region, the womb region, especially for women who suffer with different types of uh, ailments in that region. And it's something that in the spiritual world is called the sacral chakra. So this is a, an area of creativity, an area of expression, and we don't want that blocked. So we're going to release that through a few movements today. Whether male or female, you can try it. These are belly dance based movements. So I hope you enjoy and let's get started. I'm just gonna start by rocking the hips to the side. If you like, take some arms with you, but you don't have to. You can keep the arms by your side if you like. Try to stretch as much as possible. So you can really feel it within your obliques, your sides and your back. Good. Excellent. And now let's go side forward, side, back, side, forward, side, back. Try to keep a straight spine. Good. And we're going to go around. We did this in one of our previous videos, but we did it at a slower pace. And we're going to be introducing new movements today. Add some arms if you wish. If not, you can just be here. Try to get really big with it and then go the other way. Maybe break it up first and then attach. You can do whatever you want with the arms. When we release emotions and when we hold poses for a long time or we do fluid exercises like this, you may feel like laughing, you may feel some nervous energy, you may feel irritated, you may feel like crying, all very natural. Let it come, let it release. Good. This is a bit tricky, but we're going to try it. So we're gonna go, we're going to transfer the weight forward and back. And what you're going to do is you're going to push your pelvis forward, release it. Forward, release. This is an undulation, over undulation. So when your weight's on the back leg, you tuck, bring the energy forward. Tuck, bring the energy forward. If you're very comfortable with this movement, bring the legs together. Good, keep going. Transfer the weight from the heels to the toes if your legs are together. You don't have to get everything right, just try your best and something will be working anyway. If you want, add some arms. One more time. Breathe. A big part of releasing is breathing. Good. Let's take the hips in. So if you don't know what I'm doing, I'm just pushing out to the side, bringing in. Pushing out to the side, bringing in. I have a breakdown of all these movements on my YouTube page. So look at my how-to videos if you want to get better. If not, just move. Still moving that pelvic region. Try to get big and expansive with it. We're not worried about control or isolation here. We're focusing on movement and flow. A few more. Get super grounded, super rooted into the floor. Your energy is not up, your energy is down. 
just a couple of more. Good, shake it out if you need to. Right, let's go on to the next thing. So we're just going to move our hips in a circle again, but with our feet together and a lot more muscular and isolated. These are called omis. You can have your hands on your head, hands on your hips, waking up that energy. Move the arms around if you like. Play around. And when you're ready, go in the opposite direction. One side will be easier than the other. That's absolutely normal. It will show you where your blockages are. That's the side that you need to work on, the uncomfortable side. Keep going. Excellent, shake it out. These are all tough movements, so don't worry about getting it correct, just move with me. Let's just do two more. So we're going to have our legs apart and we're gonna sink down. We're gonna rotate this pelvis. We're gonna rotate, bring the energy up. So we're completely releasing. We're going up, take it out. Good, again, put the weight on the back leg, shift to the front. Travels up the body, it goes. Pelvis, belly, chest, release. And again. Pelvis, belly, chest, release. Good, again, we go. Pelvis, belly, chest, release. You can be super big with these movements. And again. Excellent. Last time. Excellent. Now we're just going to shake the hips, but in a twisting way. So take the feet shoulder width apart. And we're just going to twist. Imagine there's two strings here pulling the hips forward. Pull, 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 pull. So again, we're releasing that stagnant energy. Good. And let's go faster. Tricky to take the arms up so you can leave them down to the side if you wish. Breathe. Good. And to finish it off, we're just going to take the legs together, drop the knees one by one. Drop, drop, drop the knees. Shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. Shimming it out. Good. Keep going. Take it out. Pull it up. Take it away. Excellent. So if you've enjoyed that, what I would really strongly suggest you do now is go to the video where I'm doing slow stretches, slow yoga yin type stretches, because that will help you to release even more. So those are stretches that will hold you in a particular pose to open and release the hips. And it will really help you. You make sure you get a mat. It's very floor based. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you thought. Please like, subscribe, send your comments, and I'll see you next time.